I am Governor Gary Johnson, the Libertarian candidate for President of the United States and the two-term Governor of New Mexico from 1994, 2003. Here is proof that this is me, https, slash slash twitter dot com slash govgrajohnson slash status slash two four five five nine seven nine five eight two five three four four five one two zero. I've been referred to as the most fiscally conservative governor in the country, and vetoed so many bills that I earned the nickname Governor Veto. I bring a distinctly business-like mentality to governing, and believe that decisions should be made based on cost-benefit analysis rather than strict ideology. I'm also an avid skier, adventurer, and bicyclist. I have currently reached four of the highest peaks on all seven continents, including Mount Everest. Hello, my name is Yama, the voice of the reddit.com questions which here voted up by the users. Gary Johnson picked the top voted questions to answer for this Ask Me Anything session on September the 11th, 2012. These questions were copied directly from the website. Please refer back to the website to see and read the full discussion by the users after the questions were answered, and see those questions that were not answered. You are free to log in yourself and help answer some questions, as Gary Johnson has done multiple speaking engagements and has answered numerous questions already. For more information, to learn more about me, please visit my website, www.garyjohnson2012.com. You can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and Tumblr. Okay, let's begin. I'm ready. Ask me anything. My question is about marijuana. Obviously you are pro-decriminalization. But my question is, when did you last smoke it? Honestly. 2008 I had used marijuana for the prior three years to deal with a serious paralyzing accident. Do you believe your stance on marijuana will cause older people, or... People generally not in favor of marijuana use to dismiss you as just that guy for pot legalization instead of focusing on your other stances on issues. Hopefully, this issue will be a litmus test as to whether or not I have a brain. How can we get you to 15% in the polls to get you in the debates? Blog blog blog. How do you intend to break the mold of bipartisanship? Most of America really believes someone can only be either Republican or Democrat and there are no alternatives. B.S. You have my vote already. I am more liberal than Obama, and more conservative than Romney. I think most Americans fall into this category. Where are they being represented? What are your thoughts on the ongoing war in Afghanistan, and what do you think is the best course of action for our mission there? Withdraw immediately. Bring the troops home. Gary, I can't thank you enough for doing this. Very excited and energized by your campaign. My questions are, what do you think the worst ramification will be for Americans if Romney wins in November? And for the rest of the world? Same question. Adjusted for Obama, either one of them is going to result in an increased police state, continued state of war, and continued unsustainable debt and spending. Would you rather fight 100 duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? One horse-sized duck? As a libertarian, I imagine that your policy proposals would not be popular with the members' congress. If you were president, how do you think the two-party dominated Congress would respond to your policy proposals? And how would you get Congress on board with your policies? I'm kind of excited about the prospect of coming at Democrats hard from the left, and coming at Republicans hard from the right. Challenge them both to be good at what they are supposed to be good at. I like marijuana. Should I vote for you? Absolutely. Governor Johnson, 
I have a couple concerns with your platform, and I was hoping you could clear it up for me as I didn't find additional details elsewhere. I understand that you intend to dismantle the Department of Education. I personally place a very high value on education and think it should be treated with very high priority. While I realize your reasoning for your plan, Mr. The Doe, is to allow local governments to have more of a role in setting standards and curriculum. But how do you plan to deal with the financial ramifications of this? Would A2 schools cease altogether? Be diminished? If so, over what time frame do you think this might take place? I'm a fairly young man, voting age, but not professional age. So my income is pretty low, even working full time. My concern is with your stance on taxation as it relates to the fair tax you favor. I 100% agree conceptually with the fairness of a consumption tax, however, since I live mostly paycheck to paycheck I don't ever have time to save. So this tax while being equal in cost to both me and my upper middle class neighbor, it is taking up a larger percentage of my weekly income, thus making the tax burden harder on me. While I realize that this is fair, it's a hard pill to swallow when making sure I have enough to eat is a Real concern if my wife or I should become unemployed or unable to work. Do you have any plans to allow essential goods, base foods, etc., to be tax exempt or reduced to account for this? I know those were long, but I appreciate you taking the time to interact with the voter base like this. It means a lot. So thank you very much. It costs the state's money to take federal money. So, do away with the Department of Education, save the state's money, and have 50 laboratories. Work on improved education. The fair tax issues everyone a $200 per month prebate check that allows all of us to pay the fair tax up to the point of the poverty level. This is their answer to the rightful criticism that a consumption tax is regressive. I'm gay. What specifically would you do to fight for my rights? Do you differ from President Obama on this subject in any way? How so? I believe marriage equality is a constitutionally guaranteed right. Leave it to the states and nothing changes. I'm straight and I approve this message. This guy doesn't give a wrong answer. Thank you. What would you do about Gitmo and the people being held there? How do you respond to critics who say that ending the wars would only exacerbate an already bad unemployment situation? Torture and the practice of detainment without being charged are practices that need to stop and are synonymous with Gitmo. Gitmo, as a facility, without these practices taking place, may be a facility that we continue to need in the future as a place to house enemy combatants. Offshore. First, thank you for doing another armor. I wasn't aware of the last one when it happened. In your last armor, in response to what your first action as president would be, you said, first action as president is to submit a balanced budget to Congress in 2013. So, my first action is to start this process which is to create a blueprint for a 43% reduction in government spending. 43% is so specific, I have to ask, how did you come up with that number? What would be a priority using 57% of the current federal budget? 43% is the amount of money that we are printing and borrowing. So 43% is the amount we need to cut from federal spending. What will you do to help fix the broken and unsustainable factory farming system in the U.S.? Animal cruelty, 
environmental damage, and communal damage surrounding the factories are all major points here. I think education brings change. The more light we shine on these issues, the better they become. As a consumer, I am demanding these changes. I'm a college student and I'm wondering what should you win the presidency will you do regarding the exorbitant amounts of debt being accrued by us college kids? And also, how do you feel about the space program and what, if any, plans do you have for it? I cry over your graduating from college with a home mortgage and no home. I think the reason for high college costs is guaranteed government student loans. Long term, we need to populate another planet, because the Earth is going to encompass the Sun. Long term, but short term, we have to balance the budget, or find ourselves with no programs whatsoever. What are your opinions on the National Defense Authorization Act? Would you have signed it? I would not have signed the NDOA. My question is about gun control. Governor Romney has a history of banning guns in Ma, and Obama has a history of opposing handgun ownership in Chicago. D. C. Reinstating the Clinton assault weapon ban, and opposing the right to carry. Concealed. As president, would you support renewing the Clinton era gun ban? Do you support right to carry laws that give law abiding citizens like myself the right to carry a concealed firearm to protect themselves? Thank you for doing this, Armour. I fully support the Second Amendment. In 1995, I was able to sign concealed carry legislation when it was cutting edge at that time. I believe this would lead to less overall gun violence. What keeps you motivated when numbers may not necessarily be in your favor? We really don't want to peak too early, so we have them right where we want them. I matched you 94% on a side with .com. That's a really cool website. Did you create it? I didn't create it, but I appreciate the guys who did. Let's be real. Appearing on television, going door to door, and posting on social media can only get you so far even if you have great principles and a solid message, even if a lot of people know about you, or you get a debate spot. Do you think some things need to be changed about the presidential election system, primaries, funding, voting system? etc. itself before most people stop viewing third parties and independents as a wasted vote or spoiler? If so, what? You've ran an Ironman and climbed Mount Everest. What's the next outdoor physical activity you want to accomplish? Please come to Madison, W.I. Answer continued in part two.